Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Hello, welcome back, and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget, and that is also talking about new makeup releases. Do we want it? Do we not want it? Will we buy it? Will we pass? Is it cute? Is it ugly? We're going to talk all about it today. And there are a lot of new makeup releases, especially with holidays right around the corner. We are getting a lot of new releases, so we're going to talk all about them. If you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below where I will We'll link everything we talk about today, the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you'd like to recreate this look, and don't forget to follow me on TikTok for more Beauty on a Budget. So I'm gonna scooch on over and we're gonna talk new makeup releases. This video series is inspired by Samantha March. I will go ahead and link her channel down below for you, as well as the Instagram accounts that I pull my information from. I'm going to start with a new release here from Makeup Revolution. Nobody is surprised that we have another release from Makeup Revolution. This is actually their holiday collection. It contains new sets and advent calendars. Ooh, I may be interested in the advent calendar. I have been unboxing a, a lot of advent calendars here on my channel, so if that's something you like, definitely make sure you're subscribed. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution, so that's hindering me a little bit from wanting to purchase the advent calendar, but it is coming out with the 12 Days of Chocolate Advent Calendar. It is $48. It has mirror, glosses, blush, highlighter, brush, brushes, palettes, etc. There's the Chocolate Vault Tin for $85 which seems a lot for Makeup Revolution, and that's a 30 pan eyeshadow palette, two chocolate palettes, salted caramel scented fixing spray, chocolate drip eyebrush set. And then there's the Friends 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar for $60, a cookie tin for 38, and on and on and on. We know that when Makeup Revolution comes out with a new collection, it is quite a large collection. The only thing that interests me on here at all are the advent calendars, but because I don't love Makeup Revolution, I am going to go ahead and nay or pass on these products. Next I see that She Glam Official, which is a really affordable but high quality makeup brand, so I've heard. Now I've never used any of their products, but I've heard really good things about them. They released their Wretched Romance Collection, and this is their Halloween inspired collection. It's super cute. They have the Color Web eyeshadow palette for only $9, the Ghoul's Rule Beauty Sponge for $2.50, the Mini Mate Liquid Lipstick Set, five lipsticks for $10, the Mini Colored Liquid Liner Set for $10. It's cute. I mean, there is a lot of really cute products. I do like the palette. I think that the web design is really cute. The whole collection is actually really nice and really, really affordable. The makeup sponge is so cute, so cute. So I'm considering picking up a few of the items from this line. It's all just really cute and very affordable. Next up is from Trixie Cosmetics and they just released the Just A Girl collection. This is a 90s inspired collection. It's a huge, huge release. They have a three pan blush palette for $28, the Ginger Spice Lip Gloss for $16, the Truth or Dare Lip Gloss for $16, the Fuzzy Bucket Hat, interesting, for $23, the Embroidered Doodle Scrunchies for $10, the Mini Backpack for $45, the Pencil Case for $20, and the Heart Powder Puff for $6. This release is on October 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on their website. So. This is cute, but this for me appeals to a much younger audience. So I'm gonna pass on everything, but I think if you were a tween or even a teenager, this would be a super fun collection. Makeup by Mario just released the Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil. So this is a precision dual-ended lip liner that defines, sculpts, and shapes the lips to create the illusion of a fuller pout with full coverage matte formula. Interesting, there's 12 different shades, lots of muted nude shades. That seems to be the 
common practice for Makeup by Mario is to go a little bit more neutral in nude. They're $22 a piece. They are currently available. I think $22 is a lot for a lip liner when you can buy drugstore lip liners like NYX and Wet n Wild for less than $10. I have a NYX lip liner on today. So I'm probably going to pass unless there is a shade that I just can't resist. But again, $22 for a lip liner is quite a lot. Another day, another ColourPop. ColourPop just released a brand new collection called the Lucky Penny. There's a nine matte and shimmery shade eyeshadow palette. There's light blush stick duos in four different shades. There is a luxe liquid lipstick in three shades. You can use the you can use the code TrendMood for 10% off on their website. This is currently available, it looks like. It's a neutral palette. I have these coppers and these oranges and these browns in so many other palettes. So I'm definitely going to pass. The only thing that interests me at all are the blush sticks, but I have so many cream blushes that I have to cut myself off. Rare Beauty released a new eyeshadow palette. This is their Discovery palette. It includes seven colorful, buttery soft shades. It's coming soon on their website and to Sephora. I'm going to pass on this. I think that the layout or the design of the palette is pretty interesting. It's just another neutral palette. And again, I just have these colors time and time again because I have so many palettes in my collection. But if you love Rare Beauty and this is your color story, this would be a fantastic palette to add to your collection, but also a really nice palette to give as a gift. Jaclyn Cosmetics released her holiday 2021 collection. This is the new Naughty and Ice collection. So there are some lip lacquers for $18, the Winter Sun Face Palette for $38, the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer for $34. Now that interests me, the oil primer, but $34 for a makeup primer just seems like a lot. I just... It's hard for me to bite the bullet at $34. Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat for $26. Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick for $20. And the Lip Liners for $18. None of this really appeals to me. I mean, I think the colors are really pretty. Those little shimmery eye toppers remind me a lot of the ColourPop Super Shops that are $7 versus, what, $26. That just seems like a lot for a single shadow. So, I'm interested in the liquid lips, but I think this whole collection, there's been some spoilers out there that this is already popping up in Ulta. So if this shows up in Ulta and I can use Ulta points or Ulta discounts, then I probably will pick up some of the lip colors. I also really like the face palette. I wish she would have come out with more than one face palette. Even though it's blushes and highlighters, it's still not as inclusive as I'd like to see. But for the most part, I'm going to pass on this, even though I do love Jaclyn Cosmetics. We aren't done with ColourPop. ColourPop has also released their Charmed I'm Sure collection. Now this, again, gives me very tween, teenager, kid vibes. I'll tell you right now, I'm just interested in all of this. I'm not going to pick any of this up, but there is the Bling Time Pressed Powder Palette for $14. There's actually quite a few of these pressed powder palettes for $14 just in different shades. There's the individual crystal face jewels set for $8 and the mixed crystal face jewel set for $8. So again, I'm not really interested in this. I will go ahead and link it down below. It'd be great again for a tween or a teenager. So it looks like Mariah Carey is coming out with her own beauty brand. This is interesting. First, we had Ellen DeGeneres release a skincare brand. Now we have Mariah Carey releasing a beauty brand. Here's my issue with this. Neither one of these people are known for makeup or skincare. They're celebrities who I feel like are riding on the coattails of being celebrities and releasing makeup and skincare, which they're not known for. So it, it seems a little out of place. It seems a little disjointed. It's coming soon. It says they'll keep you updated. I'm going to pass on whatever she releases. There are some more Sephora holiday sets. I can't believe how much they've released this year. We have the One Size Beauty set, Three Queens Primer Powder and Setting Spray for $42. We have the Point Made Eyeliner and Eyeshadow Set for $34. And then KVD Beauty released their Mini Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick Set for $29 and then there's a KVD Tattoo Liner Duo for $29. So these are all released currently at Sephora so you can use Sephora points or your Sephora credit card. And I have to say that the KVD liquid liners are really, really good. They're one of my favorite liquid liners. 
I don't need any liquid liner right now because I have so many, but if I was in the market, that would definitely be a really good deal because you get two of them for $29. The rest of it, I'm not really interested in, but again, it would make a fantastic gift. Now, speaking of advent calendars, if you are in the market for a very high-end advent calendar or you want to give one of these high-end calendars as a gift, Chanel released their 2021 advent calendar, the number five limited edition. It includes different products, makeup, perfume, and accessories. It looks like it's a 24 day calendar for $825. 825. Definitely going to pass, but if you're into luxury, if you're into Chanel, if you wanna give a really expensive, nice gift, that may be perfect. Mean Girls collab is back, this time with the brand Spectrum. So they've collabed with Mean Girls and made the Burn Book Bag and Brushes bundle. So this cute little bag, which I have to say is really cute, it's packed with an eight piece Mean Girls brush set. They all include an iconic Mean Girls quote. And the bag itself is actually a handbag so that you can wear it. There's a zipper in our pocket for storing all of your beauty essentials. Wow. Wow, it's $100 for the bag and the brush set. I don't know. I mean, they're cute, it's all cute, but $100? I'm gonna pass. Danessa Myricks just released her new Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Palette. This looks really pretty. The model is stunning. I mean, look at that glow on her face. This is an all over face multi-use palette with 14 out of this world galactic shades in different finishes. This is limited edition. There is one pressed glitter, two duochrome gels, two powder creams, five multi-chrome pigments, which are amazing, four holographic powders, which basically means a shimmer shade, and it is $125. It is available on their website as of October 21st. Listen, multi-chromes are really expensive. If you buy them singly, especially from indie brands, they can be $16 or $17 a piece. So the fact that there's five of them in this palette makes the price point make a little bit more sense. I just don't need to add this to my collection. I actually just bought the new Nikia Joy Multichromes, the loose powder pigment. So I'm going to pass, but again, if you're looking for a nice gift for someone, it, this is stunning. It, it's definitely a stunning palette. We're going to talk about a few new indie makeup releases. As you know, these are always my favorite. We're going to start with Unique Beauty, who just released their festive collection. This is really pretty. I love the packaging. There's three different eyeshadow palettes that feature six shades a piece, two highlighters, and some lippies. I have to say that that palette, the black background with the blues, looks so beautiful and perfect for that wintry vibe. These will be available for pre-order soon on the Unique Beauty website. So Hip Dot is back with their interesting collaborations. They're collabing this time with Tapatio Hot Sauce. And apparently this is their second collab with Tapatio. Right off the bat, I'll tell you, I don't see Tapatio. Isn't that bottle, I don't really eat that, but isn't the bottle red and orange? And this is a very purple leaning collection. Uh, anyway, there is a Los Martos Tapatio Pigment and Cream Palette inspired by the bright and vibrant and dark tones traditionally used to celebrate the Mexican holiday. Okay. Now the color story is making a little bit more sense to me. There is a liquid lipstick set, a three piece glitter set, and a beauty sponge. The entire collection, which looks like that's the only thing that's available, is $72 and it's available right now for pre-order. I don't think $72 is bad for that collection. The eyeshadow palette is pretty. The lip colors are really cool. I love that bright, bright, corally, ready orange and then that orange color. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up. It's a possibility, but I'm going to kind of wait and see. I wanna see if anybody else does reviews on it because I don't need another rainbow eyeshadow palette and I have not heard the best thing about Hip Dot's quality, so I'm kind of on the fence. So another indie brand I've never heard of is Riza Lashes and they just released their new Sweet Tragedy Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. It's in the shape of a coffin, so this is a perfect time of year to release that. This sounds interesting. This palette consists of 12 killer shades, killer shades, with six mattes, 
three hyperchromes, which is kind of like a multi-chrome, two shimmers, and one satin. It's available for $35 for pre-order. After the pre-order sale, it goes up to $42, and they're looking to ship on October 24th. So, I mean, shortly after this video is released. I think this is really cute. That green, that bright chartreuse green is calling my name. It looks really pretty, and I think $35 is a great deal for this. So, this is a possibility for me as well. I'm going to wait for a few more pictures and maybe some more swatches to be released, but it really looks beautiful and I may pick this up. JD Glow Cosmetics, love them. I have so many of their single shadows. They're gorgeous. If you want affordable duo multi-chromes, definitely check out J JD Glow, but they just released their new gel liners and metallic shadows. The shadows are sold in a bundle with the liners for $16. That is such an incredible deal. They say that the shadows may or may not be restocked and you can pick this up right now on the JD Glow website. This is beautiful and I can't believe it's only $16. It looks like it's inspired by fruits and vegetables, which is kind of fun. Definitely check out JD Glow. They are a fantastic indie brand. Another new kind of Halloween fall palette the Spice Eyeshadow Palette from C Color Cosmetics. This consists of 18 shades with a variety of warm tones, pink tones, purple, and a few pops of color in multiple finishes. You have matte, metallics, and foil shades, highly pigmented, and intense color payoff. It's only $10. What? I can't believe that these indie brands can drop these pretty palettes for $10. Dollars. It's available right now on C Color Cosmetics website and it has a very slim packaging. It looks like it has just a clear plastic cover over the top, but it's really pretty. I mean, the colors are gorgeous. They're fall and it's $10. I'm, I'm going to pick this up for $10. Absolutely. Also from JD Glow, I definitely want to add this in. They're coming out with a new multi-chrome shadow called Venom. It actually launched on the 18th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Grab this if you love multi-chromes. This looks beautiful. What's great about these shadows is it's one and done. You swipe it on, and when you turn your head, those different colors come into play. They're super affordable, again, from JD Glow. This, I definitely am picking up. Now, Glaminatrix just released or re-released their Sandra Rose palette. I know that this palette had a lot of hype. It has some very pretty colors in there. It has a duochrome, a multi-chrome, five shimmers, and eight mattes. The palette is magnetic, and the pans are magnetized, not glued in, so you can remove them or rearrange them. The thing with this I mean, this palette is really pretty. It retails for $40.80 USD. It's currently available at the Glaminatrix website. I mean, it's really pretty. That color bloom, that color bloom looks absolutely stunning and the swatches look really pretty as well. I don't think that $40 is bad. I'm wondering what the shipping is though because it looks like it comes from Australia or overseas. I mean, it's pretty. If you were interested in this palette or you like the color story, this is a limited time re-release. So definitely pick it up if you like it. If you like single shadows, these look beautiful. These are new single shadow shades by Wink Leary Beauty. Wink Leary Beauty, never heard of them before. They're $3 a piece, which is incredible. You have Twisted Mallows, which is a silver metallic with a hint of lavender. That is stunning. You have Red Wine, which is a bright red metallic. Noel, which is a green metallic. 24K, which is a gold metallic. Chocolate, bronze metallic. And Pop the Champagne, which is a pinkish red metallic. Now the brand is currently having a 25% off sale. Free shipping on USA orders of $25 or more with the code birthday ship. These are only $3 a piece. So if you want some single shadows to add to your collection and you want some pretty sparkle, I'm definitely interested in that Twisted Mallows color. It is so pretty. This would be a great brand to check out. There are so many new indie makeup releases that are so exciting. I could go on and on, but we're gonna stop here with some glosses. These are beautiful. This is a fall lip gloss launch. It is currently available on toffeecosmetics.com. There is four colors launching, Foxy, Brick Rose, Crunch, and Pumpkin Cream. 
I love them all. The only one that I don't love love is Crunch just because it's a little bit sheer, but the other three colors are absolutely stunning. And it says these colors are super creamy, smell delicious, and are not sticky. I'm very interested. I'm gonna hop over to their website and check these out. These are gorgeous, so I'll make sure that these are linked down below as well. So that is everything that I have for you in this week's new makeup releases. Like I said, I could go on and on and on, especially with indie. There's so many indie makeup releases, which makes my heart so happy because I love indie brands. So if you enjoyed this new makeup releases, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never Never miss a single video. I try to do new makeup releases every week or every couple of weeks because it's important to know what's out there and available to purchase. So make sure you also check out the description box down below for everything I shared with you in today's video, the makeup that I'm wearing if you'd like to recreate this look, and of course follow me on TikTok for more Beauty on a Budget. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!